I'd like to commence this video with a request. For those interested in receiving more premium betting tips and predictions, especially if my guidance has contributed to your success in winning bets and generating revenue, I kindly seek your support in revitalizing this channel. Your assistance plays a crucial role in bolstering my presence on YouTube. You're welcome to explore my Patreon support tier or check out my various plans. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you seeking our premium picks. You can find the link in the bio and comment section below. Thank you for considering and supporting me. Rays vs. Yankees My best pick is Yankees win New York 3 B DJ LeMahieu, foot, is expected to begin a rehab assignment this weekend. Through 21 games, Tampa Bay ranks 23rd in OPS and 18th in runs scored. For the season, New York ranks 8th in OPS and 13th in runs scored. Take the Yankees to win at home. Marlins vs. Cubs My best pick is Under 8.5 runs The Chicago Cubs will pick up a victory at home on Saturday when hosting the Miami Marlins, but the play here is under. The under is cashed in 6 of Miami's last 9 and in 5 of Chicago's last 6. The under is also cashed in 9 of the last 13 played between Miami and Chicago. Cubs starter Javier Assad has had a strong start to the season at 2-0 with a 2.16 ERA. Assad has allowed just 4 runs across 16 and 2 thirds innings. Tigers vs Twins My best pick is Twins win Minnesota of Max Kepler, knee, began a rehab assignment with AAA St. Paul on Thursday and hopes to return next week. Through 20 games, Detroit ranks 26th in OPS and 23rd in runs scored. For the season, Minnesota ranks 28th in OPS and 28th in runs scored. Take the Twins to win at home. Brewers vs Cardinals My best pick is Over 8 runs Milwaukee starting pitcher D.L. Hall has been hit hard in each of the last two outings giving up 10 runs on 16 hits across 8 and 2 thirds innings including serving up 3 home runs. St. Louis starter Miles McCullough was hit hard last time out allowing 5 runs on 4 hits across 4 and 2 thirds innings. Therefore, the play here is over. The over is cashed in 9 of Milwaukee's last 10 and in each of the last 6 that Milwaukee has played on the road. Mets vs Dodgers My best pick is Dodgers win. Both teams have been up and down this year as the Mets seem to have it going as of late. With that being said, the Dodgers are an elite home team and will do the work Saturday. Look for LA to control this game on both sides of the dish leading to the win. Diamondbacks vs Giants My best pick is Diamondbacks win While the under is a solid choice, the play here is the Diamondbacks. Arizona starting pitcher Zach Gallon is off to an excellent start at 3-0 with a 1.64 ERA. In 22 innings pitched, the right-hander has allowed just four earned runs on 18 hits. San Francisco starting pitcher Kyle Harrison has been hit hard in each of the last three outings, allowing 10 runs across 16 innings. Red Sox vs. Pirates My best pick is Red Sox win Boston has played well on the road, winning six of the last seven away from Fenway Park. Pittsburgh has lost four of its last five overall and the Pirates have lost 11 of the last 15 versus an opponent from the American League East. Boston starter Cutter Crawford has pitched well in four consecutive outings, allowing just two runs across two and one-third innings. In four starts, Pittsburgh pitcher Mitch Keller has given up 12 runs across 24 innings. Astros vs Nationals My best pick is Astros win Houston has defeated Washington in five of the last six played at Nationals Park. Houston starter Ronel Blanco has thrown a no-hitter this season on April 1st and has allowed just two runs over 21 innings. In contrast, Washington starter Trevor Williams was hit hard last time out, allowing three runs across five and one-third innings resulting in a 7-6 loss to Oakland. White Sox vs Phillies My best pick is Phillies minus 1.5 runs Philadelphia hasn't been phenomenal this year, but they do have the edge in this game. Chicago is one of the worst teams in the game and will be no match for the Phillies. Take Philadelphia to roll start to finish leading to the easy home win on Saturday. Athletics vs Guardians My best pick is Guardians win. 
Cleveland is coming in with double the amount of runs, almost in the athletics. That is going to make it easier for the Guardians to come in and rely on their run production to get the game here. Still, the Athletics are going to put up a fight in the game and keep it close. Angels vs Reds My best pick is Reds win Cincinnati is playing at home and the Reds have been playing good at home so far. The Angels for their part are a decent team, but are in the midst of a long road trip early in the season and while fatigue is not that much of an issue giving up 7 runs in the opening game of the series will definitely make it harder to see the Angels winning in this game here. Marlins vs Cubs My best pick is Cubs win The Chicago Cubs are far and away the better team and should be able to control this game. We do not know what to expect in terms of Rodri Munoz in terms of giving length and getting outs while Shota Monaga has not allowed an earned run throughout his first three starts of his regular season career. When looking at the ability to hit the home run, there is a big gap thus far while Miami is tied for 24th with 16 total home runs while Chicago is tied for 13th in the bigs with 21 homers thus far. All of the signs are pointing towards the Chicago Cubs to pick up a victory in this game. Orioles vs Royals my best pick is Orioles win. We like the Baltimore Orioles to win this game. We think the Orioles are the better overall team and have produced a better product of baseball as of late with the pitching advantage should win this game easily. Rangers vs Braves. My best pick is under 9.5 runs. We like the home team to put on a showcase on front of the home crowd. The Braves and the Rangers are both favored to find themselves playing late in the postseason and we feel like this game will be a test of wills and that scoring will be minimized. Making our best bet the under 9.5 runs. Mariners vs Rockies My best pick is Mariners win. In this game here the Mariners are going to have a great chance to get the win in the game. The Rockies are horrible on the year and have struggled immensely from both sides of the plate. Look for that to make the difference as the Rockies drop yet another game. Blue Jays vs Padres My best pick is Under Jose Barrios will be the Blue Jays starting pitcher in this game. He's been phenomenal this season with a 1.05 ERA through over 25 innings. Toronto is scoring just 3.8 runs per game, 4.7 runs a game. Dalton Varsho has been strong at the plate in his second season with the Blue Jays, putting up 4 home runs. 12 runs, and 8 RBI. The San Diego Padres sit second in the NL West, entering this series with an 11-10 record. San Diego snapped a three-game win streak on Wednesday, when they suffered a 1-0 loss to the Milwaukee Brewers. Despite the loss, Michael King was brilliant in his game, allowing just two hits and one run through 7.2 innings on the mound. Yu Darvish is expected to be San Diego's starting pitcher on Saturday. He's posted a 4.18 ERA through 23 innings of play this season. The Padres are coming into the series averaging 8.7 hits and 5.2 runs per game. San Diego's bullpen has been inconsistent to start the year. They are giving up 4.6 runs per game. The Blue Jays and Padres have both underperformed to start the season. This series is a big opportunity for both squads. Expect Berrios to continue his excellence on the mound, leading Toronto to the win.